Well, good evening. Kirk Euler back with you on actually a rather somber night because for the second time, Governor Newsom has shut down most of the businesses in the state. Uh, 30 counties affected by his decision to uh, remove indoor dining and shut down an awful lot of businesses that many of which just got going within the last couple weeks. And you see, Governor Newsom is convinced, or better yet, maybe trying to convince you that all these businesses have to close because you, greedy business owners, you're the reason that we're seeing the explosion in coronavirus cases in California that he keeps pointing to. And to look at, the, yes, more data. Uh, to look at the data, you you would look at it and you'd go, wow, yeah, there's, there's really something going on here when you're cruising along and just kind of bumping along. This is hospitalizations, by the way. And this is hospitalizations of uh, total COVID-19 patients uh, right here, this line right here, cruising along, hospitalizations nice and nice and steady until that dip right there is June 13th, and then it's all uphill from there. Just increase hospitalizations and increase hospitalizations from June 13th. We we're at 3,092 today. We're at 6,485. So over doubled in one month. And if you're listening to Newsom you would have to believe that it's greedy gym owners like these people right here in uh, uh, Pacific Beach down by San Diego because on on June 24th, the day of this story, June 24th, they're talking about how they get to open back up on June 24th. Isn't that exciting? So it's got to it's gotta be these people right here, right? It, it, it couldn't be, no, it couldn't be folks like this who on June 6th you see the headline there are thousands thousands protest for the ninth day in a row this is in Sacramento on June 6th see that down there June 6th um, so it couldn't be this it, it, it has to be that greedy gym owner or you know it 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 has to be like these people in San Francisco these people in San Francisco who on June 22nd, when this story was written, they were looking forward to bars in San Francisco being able to reopen for outdoor drinking on June 29th. They were going to get to open on, on June 29th. So obviously it's these bars and people going to these bars on June 29th. And it couldn't be, you know, this scene from San Francisco on June 3rd where you have thousands take the Bay Area streets. This is in San Francisco on June 3rd. It couldn't be this, obviously, affecting the numbers. It's gotta be this that's affecting the numbers. Or, or in Los Angeles, couldn't be, I mean, it must be people like this, the greedy business owners who are, who are on uh, June 19th talking about how they wish they'd had a little bit more warning LA County nail salon owners scrambling to reopen on June 19th they're scrambling to reopen and so it must be because they scrambled to reopen on June 19th that we've seen over a doubling in our hospital population since June 13th it has to be because of people like this couldn't be because of a scene like this where 50,000 people got together on the streets of Los Angeles on June 8th. No, that couldn't be that. No, it's, 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 it's got to be these people, the nail, nail salon people and the, and the greedy bar owner people and, the, and the, those greedy gym people. These are, this is the reason we have the spike. It has nothing to do with those tens of thousands of people taking to our streets early in June. Well, let's take a look again. Hospitalizations. The number one reason he closed this down, the spike in hospitalizations. Dead ass flat. All the way, June 13th, starts to climb. Bars hadn't opened yet in San Francisco. Nail salons, Los Angeles, San Diego, our major population centers weren't even open yet. June 13th, it starts the climb. What else did he point to? Our positivity rate. Here's our positivity rate. Lowest point 
at least on this side of a small hump. So positivity rate came down. It hit actually 4.2 was the lowest right about May 25th. Little teeny 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 little bump right there. And then it dropped back down again. But as of June 15th, every day from June 15th, the positivity rate has climbed to where we are now at 7.4%. Businesses didn't even reopen in our major population centers. Didn't even reopen until the latter half of June. What happened in the first half of June? Tens of thousands of people, 50,000 in this one event, tens of thousands of people packed together, yelling, chanting, doing whatever they're doing. June 8th, June 8th, less than one week later, this begins. Really, Governor Newsom, you won't speak out against the protests because this is a particular moment in time, but you'll decimate people's businesses. You will destroy hopes and dreams of literally millions of Californians but you can't tie these numbers together? Well, one other side note I think we can all take comfort in. I've discovered the real reason that people are getting sick and dying. Um, and it's gonna surprise you because according to the state of California, on the CD, on the COVID-19 update page, Who's getting infected with COVID-19? Quote, California adults who are black, Latino, and native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander have a disproportionately, have disproportionately more deaths for their share of the population. Why? Structural racism. Number one reason, structural racism. Oh, and then there's poverty. And then there's the increased likelihood of having underlying conditions. We'll take those underlying conditions. We'll just shove them down below structural racism and poverty. Then we'll get around to underlying conditions like, you know, things like heart disease and asthma, uh, which are likely to contribute. But no, first of all, it's structural racism. So here's my question for you. And think about this until we get together the next time. If it's structural racism that's responsible for these deaths, is it the structure of the virus? Is the virus's structure, that little COVID virus, is that inherently racist or structurally racist? Or is it the structure of the state of California, all of whose institutions have been in control of one party for oh how long now? So what structural racism is it that's responsible for these deaths? Just a little something for you to noodle on until we get back together again.